buoyancy. It's a very important part. So of course, there's a procession like this. But without buoyancy, it's, it's not balanced. So in order for this procession to, to complete without straining, all of the pearls, this pearl down here, number one, which is the sole of the foot, needs to release the ankle. So the second pearl needs to release, third one, release it, expand it, fourth one, release it, expand it. The fifth one is here, the sacrum. When that releases, that coccyx falls down and this pearl here expands and then the energy comes up the spine. Number six is in here which connects the thoracics to the cervical vertebra and it distributes the energy to both arms. So that's number six. Number seven is in the shoulder. Number eight is the wrist. Number nine, excuse me, number eight is the elbow. And then nine is the, is the wrist and, and the palm. And that's where we project the energy out for for martial arts. Okay. So release release all the cognitive activity down. Expand the pearls. Project straight up. Now I'm going to do the procession and let the buoyancy balance it. After explaining all that, all this electrical energy comes up to my brain and so. Central tether, straight up. Of course, I'm still projecting out through this way, but the center 
needs to accommodate for the mess.